Virgil Ovid Hawkins, who by the way doesn't like his middle name, was born in Paris Island, Dakota City, with his sister Sharon, to parents Jean and Robert Hawkins, with Virgil going to Ernest Hemingway High School, where he was a nerd and a class clown, who got bullied and beat up by Martin Biz Money B. Scarponi. Luckily, a bystander by the name of Larry Wade stepped in to stop the onslaught on Virgil, and after, suggested Virgil smoke Biz Money B. With his firearm, he didn't mind lending him. Reluctant, Virgil would eventually take Larry up on that offer and track Biz Money B, who was at the time with his gang at Paris Island Bridge in an area called Ground Zero, about to participate in a major gang war for territory and respect. Now there and hidden, Virgil began to contemplate on his next move and undoubtedly decided not to go forward with taking someone's life and next threw the weapon into the sea when suddenly the police raided the area, shooting an experimental dequantified plasma that were in tear gas canisters and was thought to only mark the target so they could easily be tracked after. Unfortunately, however, the chemicals and the canisters either killed the person they got in contact with or warped the laws of physics to induce mutations in said person, who then went on to develop metahuman abilities. In the tragic and controversial event that will forever be known as the Big Bang, and the surviving victims will be known as Bang Babies. Nevertheless, Virgil was one of those victims hit with the mutagen that caused his body itself to generate raw electromagnetic energy that he could learn to manipulate, control, and enhance. Subsequently, it helped him get away from law enforcement. As he later went on to work out the extent of his new powers, which he already knew he wanted to use it for good, therefore creating his first superhero outfit and went on to bust crack houses and street thugs, all while dating the love of his life, the beautiful Frida Gorin, who the goon Biz Money B was after and often sent his disrespectful gang known as the Five Alarm Crew to harass into being his girlfriend. Coincidentally, Biz Money B will become a bang baby with the ability of pyrokinesis and now going by the name Hot Streak, taking over Winship Elementary School Playground which was a convenient proximity to both his high school and the party store where the owner didn't care for asking for ID. Unfortunately, Virgil, whose superhero name was Static, the and temporary using a trash can as his portable electromagnetic levitation would catch another L when going against his arch nemesis as he never learned how to fight, thus suffering another severe beatdown from the bully. Fortunately, Freedy was there to comfort her man after his first defeat, which she already knew his secret identity and stood by him every step of the way. Nevertheless, Static wanted his get back and wouldn't stand for Hot Street getting away for what he did to him. So soon after, Static attacked and made an electric construct to bound Hot Street to a merry-go-round to prevent him from using his powers as he next made him submit in front of the crowd that included his game, where Static used his electric frequency to broadcast the conversation through the radio for all to hear. However, after, Virgil's life was in peaches and cream, as juggling from being a superhero and an employee at a fast food restaurant put a toll on his employment status, to the point his boss, Miss Irvin, had no choice but to release him. Moreover, another bang baby on that quantum juice by the name of Charles Bell, aka Tarmac, a hired shapeshifter, trashed the popular arcade arcade looking for Static. And after, Static consulted with his friends that included Richard Stone, Rick Stone for short. Virgil would go on to head to his superhero headquarters, which was an abandoned gas station, and create his famous Static Saucer. And soon after, go on to defeat Termac while unleashing his witty remarks that often frustrated his foes when he was suddenly confronted by Leonard Smalls Jr. aka Holocaust, another bang baby who also had the powers of pyrokinesis and was the one who hired Tarmac to go after Static as he now wanted Static as an ally since he impressed him by defeating Tarmac. So Holocaust would go on to manipulate Static by showing him the high life he could be living if he just joined him as a simple partner which Static would oblige since he didn't see nothing wrong with this being his acquaintance. But when he seen Holocaust was going to the extreme and taking out his enemies, Static left not wanting to be a part of that anymore. In addition, Static would take down Howard Rice, aka Commando X, a vocal black supremacist and bang baby, who was able to turn anything he touches into explosive. Then comically, the man who had the power to make plants grow, the Batonist, during a commission of a crime. 
Besides that, he helped the mentally challenged small time crook and bang baby called Virus, who could multiply himself into miniature versions, change his life. Furthermore, he would take on the criminal duel, Puff and Cole, which Puff can turn into smoke, while Cole control any object that's in the shape of a rope. And after Static inevitably defeated them, he would go on to get his old job back. Meanwhile, Damien Briggs, a bang baby and an ex-gang member turned college student, father was abducted by his old crew in order for him to eradicate Static, as he could transform into a monstrous magma creature named Destruct at will. And when Static found out his motive, he went on to save Destruct's father from the gang, and next reunited the two, ended the conflict, resulting in Briggs continuing his college degree. Moreover, Static would try to playfully ambush the prodigy inventor, Curtis Metcalf, aka the superhero Hardware, but was outsmarted by a tech genius, and next confronted for his action, which he wanted Hardware to help him keep Briggs out of trouble. Nevertheless, Hardware had no problem of doing so. Next, Static would join the newly formed superhero team called Heroes, with members being Starlight, Payback, Donna, Blitzen, and Iota, as they got into a furious battle with the anti-heroes known as the Shadow Cabinet, and then later fought creatures from the Innerverse, which is a microscopic dimension. Sometime after, Augustus Freeman, also known as the world-renowned superhero icon, would do his own investigation to get to the bottom of who was responsible for what happened during the tragic night known as the Big Bang, and went on to question victims like Static so he could get them justice. Succeeding this, during the events of When Worlds Collide, which, which the Dakotaverse and the DC Universe hung in the balance, because the reality manipulating cosmic being known as the Rift, our heroes would try desperately to stop it, notably Superman and Icon, who was on the front line. While Static potentially found new love in the form of Icon's partner, Recreal Irvin, aka Rocket. Surprisingly, however, after absorbing the powers of the Rift from the catastrophic battle, Dharma of Indian nationality who had the powers of precognition and was the leader of the Shadow Cabinet and responsible for the Big Bang, merged the two universes into just one with his new powers, where only Icon, Superman, and Dharma himself will remember the events leading to it. As time went on, and many adventures later, Virgil's uncle, Tashomi Gabriel Hawkins, will finally be released from prison on a successful appeal for being wrongly accused for the 2001 Thanksgiving Massacre of the Hauser family, all thanks to Virgil believing in his uncle's innocence by contacting the Freedom Project organization that was founded by the law firm of McDuffie and would help in exonerating him, when not soon after, Tashomi was abducted by his old prison enemy who now was a bang baby and had the ability to project a force field at will or on instinct. However, it wasn't long before the booty kicker of villainy, Static, came to rescue his uncle who didn't actually know his savior was his nephew. Furthermore, they would later have a welcome home celebration for Toshomi until he suffered a massive heart attack and sadly passed away. Elsewhere, Holocaust had made his prison break from Black Gate Penitentiary. Meanwhile, Jefferson Pierce, also known as the superhero Black Lightning, was being a keynote speaker for the graduates of Hemingway High when suddenly he was attacked by Holocaust. Unsure why, Jefferson didn't hesitate to rock his superhero apparel to represent while Static wasn't too far behind, as they teamed up against Holocaust, whose prior kinesis powers were way above the levels of Hot Street, who needed friction to activate his and lacked superhero strength and durability, as conventional methods of defeating fire starters didn't work on Holocaust. So since Black Lightning draws electricity from his body and can absorb it, which could also give him super strength, while Static extracts it from his surrounding areas, they were more than enough and diverse to take down Holocaust, thus defeating him, which he would next be doing hard time in Iron Heights Maximum Security Prison, since attacking Jefferson for sabotaging his illegal gambling and prostitution ship. Sometime after, Static would be seen attacking Rose Wilson, aka Ravenger, the daughter of Deathstroke Slade Wilson, after being heavily sedated and drugged with a medicine that made him hostile. After being temporary released from his basement cell, hidden as the Dark Side Club Champion, which is an underground nightclub appealing to the filthy rich by collecting numerous superpower teams and making them ballot it out. Subsequently, Static would defeat Ravager in a close bout, and surprisingly later would be freed by her, which he would then want to attack his captors before fleeing the underground facility. 
Static would later be seen as a member of the reformed superhero team known as the Teen Titans, going on several missions while being absent away from his family for a while, which would put a toll on his sister who was sick in her new apartment and really missed him, as well as his mother and father back at their family home, as they were worried sick about his whereabouts. After this, Static would go on solo adventures taking down baddies, and suddenly and surprisingly, he was attacked by Holocaust who after revealed he was only defending himself and went on to try and convince Static that he was a changed man by showing him all the community deeds and donations he had done as he once again tried to manipulate Static into partnering with him to help him take out his business rivals claiming they were against the betterment of society where Static would then see through his tactics and refuse which caused Holocaust to then attack him engaging in a fierce battle before capturing him along with other Teen Titan members who came to Static's aid in order to harness their powers for profit. Luckily, the cavalry would arrive, and in an intense and long bout that lasted longer than expected, they would eventually defeat Holocaust. Thereafter, Static would visit Frida's apartment, where they would reconcile and remain just close friends. While following this, Static would next head to his girlfriend Madison's house, but nothing would come from that because she had moved on from him. Moreover, after several more missions with the Titans, including facing a supervillain named World, the son of Raven, due to an unusual side effect of her powers, the Titans would go on to battle him in his dimension, where Static would heal Superboy and seemingly defeat World, due to an incredible increase in his powers from being in the dimension. And after leaving, the, the side effect would cause him to lose his powers, which would lead to him trying to gain it back. As time progressed, Static would be a new, rocking a new outfit and a new Static saucer by now being employed at Star Labs in New York, which is a scientific and technological advanced research laboratory that was currently facing a crisis after an unlucky criminal test pilot stole their plasma protective sephorical suit designed to explore hazardous environments. Nevertheless, Static stopped the culprit from doing any further damage to the city, and when it was time to question him, he was suddenly assassinated by an unknown assailant. So Static's new objective? was to find out who was behind it with the help of his friend Hardware who actually was the one who gave Static the after school internship job at Star Labs as well as creating his new getup and modified Static's saucer flying disc. Moreover, the assassin Farun would come looking for Static instead as he was not alone in his crime and was part of a tech smuggling hit squad called the Slate Gang who Static would next pursue and after engage in battle where Static found out his new foes weren't no pushovers and proficient in combat. Luckily, Static was also able to hold his own in the intense battle to take down the criminals, even if the police interference caused a conflict of interest, making the problem into a complicated one. Behind that, Static would capture one of his members as bait in order to attract the others by sending a message, which would work, leading to Static taking out the crucial member of the biker gang by rule than another member on his path to pluck out each of them one by one or two by two. And when it seemed Static was outnumbered since his ops had regrouped, his mentor Hardware showed up along with his partner Tiffany Evans aka Technique. As next, they would spring into action taking down one of the facilities that was harboring one of the evil factions while saving his sister Sharon who was earlier abducted and also rescuing a member of the group who converted back to good. Nevertheless, superhero business never takes a break, even when a love interest by the name of Vanessa is on standby, as Static took on new foe, Faye, that can alter his molecular density to pass through solid objects. Unsurprisingly, that ability couldn't stop Static from apprehending him. After he was hired to steal a device from Star Lab that combines oxygen and hydrogen and turns it to fresh water for an African buyer. So after consulting with hardware, Static gave the device back to FaZe. Since it wasn't going to be used for nefarious purposes. That being said, Virgil Hawkins is DC Comics Static.